Hello Divine Feminine, welcome to your weekly reading. So Divine Feminine, first I would like to say Happy New Year to each and every one of you. I hope that you had a blessed holiday. I hope that this year brings in nothing but prosperity, abundance. So Divine Feminine, these messages are timeless. Whenever you click on the video, that's when they can resonate the most. This is also general, so not everything is going to apply. Just take what does and leave the rest. So I'm going to go ahead and tap into your energy. Spirit, give me some messages for the Divine Feminine. Okay, ooh, trust. I am safe. I am secure. In love, I trust. My faith endures. All right, so for some of you, um, you could be increasing your faith when it comes to a situation especially relationships you can definitely see an improvement in your connections the number 31 the number three one four could be significant someone could be seeing four 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 give me another energy Ooh, beautiful fertility let all take root seed and sprout let new life be all about you could be seeing the number 37 the number seven three ten you could be seeing 10 10 so you're coming into your harvest a fruitful time in your life for some of you you could be finding out um that you're expecting um somebody could have fertility issues as well have a difficult time conceiving and then i'm hearing adoption somebody could be thinking about adoption but yes overall you're coming into a very abundant time um, whatever it is that you've been working on, it's about to produce the results that you were expecting and even more. Let's go ahead and get some tarot. Spirit, tell me more about trust. Why is trust here for the Divine Feminine? Why is trust here for the Divine Feminine? So, I have three cards. I'll take them. So, we have the Nine of Wands, we have the Eight of Cups, and we have the Six of Wands. So, what I'm getting uh, from this is like, drop it. For some of you, you may just end up walking away from a situation abruptly. Because I'm just looking at this desk, and it's like somebody just got up and just left everything and said, I'm out of here. I feel like you're going to be um, choosing to be by yourself more you're going to go into solitude for some of you this is just giving me hermit energy virgo you could be a virgo or have it highly aspected but it's like you're leaving a lot of people out in the cold and i feel like for some of you as soon as you walk away from a particular situation or a group of people for some of you this can even be a job that's when you're going to come into your victory that's when you're going to see a lot of success let's clarify spirit tell me more about the nine of wands why is the Nine of Wands here for the Divine Feminine? What is the energy? The High Priestess and the Chariot. So we have Cancer here, Pisces. You're realizing that whatever it is you're dealing with, it's not going anywhere. Um, for some of you, you could have been avoiding the inevitable not listening to your intuition and choosing to stay in the situation but i feel like by you choosing to stay in the situation or this person this could be somebody else in your energy it only led to someone's detriment here the nine of wands it's like somebody actually end up causing more burdens for themselves more challenges by not paying attention to their intuition and by staying in a situation i'm hearing long overdue so somebody's departure was long overdue this person or you was supposed to been walk away from a situation but they did it and now they are seeing what's that what that is actually getting them by not trusting their divine guidance give me an energy on the eight of cups why is the eight of cups here what is the message Watch the Eight of Cups here. It's like somebody just made things harder on themselves. Because somebody's intuition was telling them to leave, to walk away. But somebody didn't want to move on. So it's kind of like they got themselves stuck. The Hangman. 
I'm telling you, heavy on the Pisces. Somebody's in the energy of just like letting it all go. Like this is one of those situations where you just wake up one day abruptly and you're like, you know what? I quit. Or you know what? I'm done with this relationship. I'm moving out today. I feel like that's what's about to happen with someone. Give me another energy on the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here for the Divine Feminine? What is the message? Why is the Eight of Cups here for the Divine Feminine? What is the energy? I'm telling you, somebody's getting on fast. Somebody's getting out of Dodge quickly. Because I'm telling you, somebody stayed in a situation that was long overdue. It was like you've been was supposed to walk away. And like now you're in the nine of wands. Like you stressed out. Like you feel like you have to be on guard. So it's kind of like, you know what? I've already wasted enough time. Let me get up out of here. And somebody is getting on quickly. Somebody's not wasting any more time. Somebody's now going to see something for what it is. Because trust me, this person's life has changed. Somebody's life has did like a complete 180. For some of you, the number 8, 88 could be significant. Give me an energy on the Six of Wands. And then we have trust. Yeah, somebody was supposed to trust. They were supposed to listen to their guidance and they did not. And they ended up staying in something for too long. Nine ones. Something built up over time. Because somebody didn't want to listen. And now it's like, uh-uh, I got to go. Somebody's getting on quickly. Tell me more about the six of wands. Why is the six of wands here for the divine feminine? What is the message? Why is the six of wands here? For some of you, this person stayed um, in a situation because of what people had to say. Because I'm hearing people talk. So because of what people had to say, you know, people were talking this person into staying in a situation, working it out with this energy, staying at this job, whatever this is, this person was talked into staying and they ended up losing a lot because of it. They only burdened themselves. It's like somebody trusted other people over their own intuition somebody trusted other people over the advice wisdom of the most high give me an energy on the six of wands why is the six of wands here why is the six of wands here for the divine feminine what is the energy why is the six of wands here what is the message the emperor I'm telling you, once this person leaves or once you leave the situation, somebody going to boss up. Aries energy. Somebody going to get into their boss status. I'm hearing rank. Somebody, I'm hearing raise their rank. So it's like God is going to raise your rank or God is going to raise this person's rank. After they get rid of this dead weight. Somebody's going to start having a lot of victory and success in their life. They're going to see things change drastically once they free themselves. They're going to see the difference, or you are. Give me another energy on the Six of Wands. Why is the Six of Wands here for the Divine Feminine? What is the message? Why is the Six of Wands here for the Divine Feminine? What is the energy? Look at this, Knight of Pentacles. I feel like this person is going to reclaim their stability. I feel like for some of you, if this person can find a job, they're finally going to be able to gain employment. Because somebody really did take a lot of losses. And it's like this person's opportunities, their blessings were blocked. So it's like once they cut this cord, that's when... Things are going to start to generate again for this person. So whatever it is that was blocked from them, they're not going to be able to receive it. That's what this is. I feel like for some of you, this person needed to go through this in order to learn how to listen to their intuition more. Because somebody really did lack faith. Somebody was supposed to trust in divine guidance and they did it. So they had to go through a situation where they lost everything. Or they lost a lot 
for not listening to their intuition, listening to other people. They had to go through this experience. So now they're learning that, hey, wait a minute, let me listen to my intuition. Before I move, before I take that next step, trust. Let me trust my guidance. That's what it's here for. That's what your intuition is here for. Literally, your GPS to tell you how to move, when to move, where to move. But I'm telling you, somebody is going to be restored. Somebody's stability is going to be restored. Because they're now listening to their higher self. They're going to see a lot of victory and a lot of success. It's like this person had to be stripped. Somebody had to be humbled first. And now they see. They see it for what it is. And another thing too is like this person um, may have been in the energy in the past where they didn't appreciate their blessings and what was coming in towards them. But now because they've been through a situation where they were practically stripped down to nothing, this person is in the energy of appreciation. They value the important things in life more. So this was definitely a learning experience for you or this other person, but it was needed. It was definitely needed here, Divine Feminine. So I am going to clarify fertility and see what messages we get from there. Give me some energy on fertility. Why is fertility here for the Divine Feminine? Ooh, the Seven of Pentacles. So somebody definitely has not been seeing a lot of success. Somebody could feel like a failure. Somebody's definitely been trying to get pregnant here, but has been having a hard time doing so. I feel like somebody definitely um, is under like medical advice. Somebody could also be researching things online. Yeah, you and your partner here, the lovers, Gemini energy. You could be a Gemini. You could also be a Taurus or a Libra. But with this nine of cups behind the lovers, you are going to have your wishes granted. This message is not going to resonate for everyone, but you are going to get your wish fulfillment. When it comes to conception. Yeah, somebody's going to be a mom. You are going to be a mom. I'm hearing pregnant and don't know it. For some of you, you're going to end up getting pregnant and not even know that you're pregnant. Like, this is going to be an amazing surprise for you. The number three is definitely significant. So something could have to do with three months. Three weeks or three days, but the number three is significant for you, Divine Feminine. Let's go ahead and get some more energy. Spirit, tell me more about fertility. Why is fertility here for the Divine Feminine? I'm strongly getting three months, though. Something about three months. Why is fertility here? What is the message? The Nine of Cups. So you're go, you're going to end up happy. You are going to end up being happy in the end. That's what I'm getting. Give me something on the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here for the Divine Feminine? Yeah. The Six of Cups. So for some of you, um, this is a situation where somebody could have like went back to someone from their past to try to build, to try to grow a relationship, and it just didn't work out. For some of you, you could just feel like you're happier being by yourself, being single, or this is how this person feels. Give me another energy on the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Somebody also tried to like um, build a connection that was very lust based and it didn't work. 
Like somebody tried to get this nine of cups, this emotional fulfillment through sex and it just failed miserably. Somebody could have also tried to get pregnant to keep someone trapped and that failed miserably. Give me an energy on the seven of cups. I mean, seven of pentacles. Why is the seven of pentacles here for the divine feminine? What is the message? Why is the seven of pentacles here? What is the energy? <clears throat> I'm telling you, the queen of wands in reverse. Yeah, so this person is very promiscuous. This feminine energy. This is somebody that likes to sleep around. This is also someone that has like a history of literally building connections based off of lust. But calling it love. This is somebody who confuses lust with love. Four of Pentacles in the reverse, but it doesn't get them anywhere. It doesn't. It doesn't lead to anything. It's Seven of Pentacles failure. Give me an energy on the Nine of Cups. Why is the Nine of Cups here? What is the message? Why is the Nine of Cups here? What is the energy? This is also somebody that um, likes to control men or women through sex as well. Somebody could also practice divination. This person could also do like some type of sex magic. Somebody um, definitely plays here in energy manipulation for some of you. Tell me more about the Nine of Cups. Why is the Nine of Cups here for the Divine Feminine? What is the message? Strength, Leo energy. So this person is determined, okay? <laughs> this person is determined to get what she wants. And for some of you, this person is trying to use a child to do it. I'm telling you, somebody's trying to get pregnant to trap somebody. Give me an energy on the Nine of Cups. Why is the Nine of Cups here for the Divine Feminine? What is the message? Why is the Nine of Cups here for the Divine Feminine? What is the energy? The Empress, I'm telling you, Libra, Taurus energy. Somebody determined to have a child with someone. And I feel like for some of you, it's a specific person that they want a kid with. Tell me more about... The Six of Cups. This is somebody from either your past or this other person's past. Tell me more about the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here for the Divine Feminine? What is the message? Why is the Six of Cups here? Justice. Okay, so somebody's trying to get a commitment through sex. Heavy on the Libra energy. I'm telling you, look at this Ace of Wands. I tell no lie. <laughs> Somebody trying to get a commitment through sex. Somebody trying to get a family based off of a lust relationship, lustful connection. Um, tell me more about the Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? This person definitely sleeps around a lot. Give me another energy on the Queen of Wands in the reverse. Why is the Queen of Wands in the reverse for the divine feminine what is the message the five of cups yeah but it doesn't work like whatever this person um tries to do or is trying to do it doesn't work they just end up being in the five of cups feeling disappointed and it's because it's not meant to work like god is not going to grant this person's wishes just because of her intentions i feel like for some of you this person with the four of pentacles in the reverse this person has things that they need to work on concerning their self-esteem and confidence here. Give me an energy on power. I'm telling you, the Ace of Cups. Because somebody feels like by getting pregnant, she will have control over you or over this other person. Somebody um, has the intentions of using a child to control another human being. That's the goal. Give me an energy on strength. Why is strength here for the Divine Feminine? What is the message? <clears throat> Why is strength here? And this person won't stop at nothing. I'm telling you. And then look at how she's holding this fruit. Like, this is the type of person that dangle things, you know, in front of this other person's face. Somebody's trying to, um... 
manipulate someone to come towards them to sleep with them and it's like she's doing this through sex for some of you using photos videos whatever dressing provocative it's like whatever she knows that this masculine likes that's what she's doing to get him to come towards her give me your energy on strength why is strength here for the divine feminine what is the message why is strength here for the divine feminine you're like dangling a piece of fruit like come here over here give me energy for strength please why is strength here the universe so somebody just pretty much want to secure their future that's pretty much what this is somebody wants to want to use a child you know as a means to an end as a bag you know um this is also my this is also someone that's doing this for attention as well somebody wants to be seen in a certain light give me another energy on strength why is strength here for the divine feminine why is strength here for the divine feminine what is the message Like, whoever this person is trying to do this to, um, this masculine gets a lot of attention. Or feminine. This could be a masculine trying to trap a feminine. And it's kind of like, by being connected to this person, they know that they'll be able to get attention as well. It's kind of like popular. This person wants to be popular. Look at this. Eight of Wands in the reverse. But yeah, it ain't going nowhere. Mm-mm. No. It's not working out how this person planned. This person kind of had like wishful thinking here. For some of you, this is somebody um, who's also like taking a lot of tests. This person is really trying to get a positive pregnancy test, but it's not happening. Like this person keeps getting bad news and that's why she's in this Five of Cups energy. She's disappointed. Somebody's trying to trap someone with a kid. I'm telling you, ten of wands. Somebody wants to trap someone. Want to put their burdens, their responsibilities on someone. This is also somebody that's researching stuff online as well to see how she can make this plan work. Somebody wants to be committed. And they're using lust to do it. Seven of Cups. This person is painting in whole illusion. Somebody's also trying to come off as if they are marriage material. Um, this Prince of Swords is giving me like online, research online. So I feel like there's a lot of people that already know about this energy. This person really, I mean, ruin reputation. So this person really doesn't have the best reputation. I feel like this is a situation that if this masculine or feminine just acts about this energy if they just go around and ask people that really know this person they'll find out the truth like for some of you this masculine needs to do his own research or this feminine needs to do her own research but somebody's trying to come off as if they're stable um they're loving they're nurturing their wifey or husband material but that's not the case for some of you also this person may even find out that whoever they are entertaining has a criminal history somebody has a record and I'm hearing it's sponge. Well, they could have actually got it expunged. But yeah, somebody definitely has a criminal history here for some of you. Somebody, I'm um, hearing theft. But this person is not who they appears to be. Give me an energy on the Empress. Why is the Empress here for the Divine Feminine? And I'm telling you, with this Nine of Cups of the Empress, I'm also getting fertility issues. Somebody is going to have their wishes fulfilled. Somebody is going to actually end up getting pregnant. Again, the number three, something significant about three months. This is a very specific message. Somebody's trying to conceive a child. It's something for you, whoever is going through this. It's something significant about the number three. Three months, exactly. Tell me more about the Empress. Why is the Empress here? For the Divine Feminine, 
why is the empress here i'm also hearing like mother like daughter so for some of you this person got their behavior from their mom their mom could have did this try to play men and stuff like that and this is where this person got it from give me another energy on the empress why is the empress here what is the energy Why is the Empress here for the Divine Feminine? What is the message? The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. Somebody wants someone to stick around for the long term. I'm telling you, somebody feels like a kid. That's going to do it. That's going to make it happen. Because this person wants to be taken care of. They want to balance things out in their life. The Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio energy with the Six of Pentacles. I'm hearing, I want to be rich. Somebody think they're going to level up financially somebody thinks like there's a few their future is going to be secure that's it they don't have to worry about working they're going to be taken care of if in the long run in the long scheme of things somebody's thinking about their future and how they can balance things out in their favor when it comes to their stability their finances the five of swords with the five of ones behind that let me tell you something this person is very competitive this is somebody that likes to win at all costs um this is also somebody i'm hearing in between if this masculine or feminine um gets involved with anyone this is somebody that will do anything and i mean anything will go to the lowest of the low to come in between whatever connection this person has going on even so much as researching the person trying to dig up things on the person to get this masculine or feminine to turn away give me one more on the empress one more message on the Empress, please. What is the energy? Give me one more energy on the Empress. What is the energy for the Divine Feminine? What is the message? Wow. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse. This person don't want to work. <laughs> That's what this is. For some of you, this person hasn't had a job or at least a decent one in a long time. This is somebody that like uses her kids to survive. That's what this is. Yeah, for some of you, this person hasn't worked in a long time. But yeah, this person don't want to work and that's why she wants this child. Yeah, this person don't like responsibility person like i want to be a stay-at-home mom that's my that's my job that's my career and there's nothing wrong with that but but this energy it's just her intentions behind it that's what this is so divine feminine i am going to pull a few more messages for you and then we'll close it out i decided to do it a little bit differently to get some more energy so definitely only take the messages that is resonating with you. Spirit, give me some final messages for the Divine Feminine. What would you like for them to know? Final messages for the Divine Feminine. What would you like for them to know? What is the energy? Messages for the Divine Feminine. What would you like for them to know? Give me some energy, Spirit. Okay, oh, that flipped out crazy bridge. Successful overcoming a problem. Give me another energy for the divine feminine. What is the message? Another energy, please, for the divine feminine. What is the message? butterfly beautiful a change for the better so i definitely feel like whatever trials that you are going through you're going to be able to overcome that situation but what i'm getting is overcoming that situation for a lot of you means letting something or someone go 
once you surrender a situation or a particular person, then that is when you're going to start to see things transform in your life. Give me another energy for the Divine Feminine. And for some of you, this could just be about a job, your career. Like, I'm hearing dead end. Like, for some of you, you know you haven't been happy in that job, in that career for a long time. So it's just time for a change here. Give me another energy for the Divine Feminine. What is the message? Another minute energy for the Divine Feminine. What is the message, Spirit? What's the energy? And work, achievement, success. Exactly. I'm telling you. And if you've been struggling um, in your career, um, if you have any type of platform and you really haven't been seeing the growth that you want, your hard work, your diligence is going to pay off. I, this is giving me the energy of, you know, when everybody else was like playing and having a good time, you were working. And so when God comes around and hands out his blessings, People are going to see you be blessed abundantly. And for some of you, you may have people that are jealous of you. Like, oh, why he get that? Why she get that? For some of you, you're also going to begin a new car as well. But yes, like, why is Divine Feminine being blessed the way he or she is? And it's because while everybody else was out playing, you was working. So you definitely are going to see the fruits of your labor pay off. A lot of things are getting ready to change for you, especially in terms of your career and your finances. I feel like for some of you, you've been working so hard and now you're going to come into a season where you can relax. You don't have to overwork yourself. Let's